Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Over 100,000 Jamaicans are living with end-stage renal failure. But the journey to treatment is not only painful, but it's costly, especially if you're unable to wait for someone to die to get dialysis at a public health care facility. This evening, the stories of persons living with the condition. And over the next two days, we'll explore what's behind the increase in kidney disease in Jamaica and possible solutions. Now here is Shamela Pullen with part one of our In Focus report, Dialysis Crisis. It's a typical Friday morning outside the renal unit at the Kingston Public Hospital. 16 persons with end-stage renal failure are waiting for a dialysis treatment. The number pales in comparison with the 40,000 Jamaicans living with chronic stage 5 kidney disease. According to statistics, another 80,000 have been diagnosed with chronic stage 4 kidney disease. At KPH, they arrive on crutches, wheelchairs, and in one case, a patient was brought into the room on a stretcher with bags packed for the long day ahead. Sherlock King was diagnosed with end-stage renal failure when he was 15 years old. In 1995, I was preparing to go to school a regular Monday morning and I f fainted. After that, I, they would take me to the doctor and after some blood tests, they found out that I have end-stage renal failure. And there are many others like him. I wake up one morning and say, oh, my hands were swollen. I did some tests. They told me that there's an infection in my kidneys. I think it was gas. So when I, when I go to the doctor, they do, send me to do an ultrasound. And when I do the ultrasound, they say my, my kidney them falter. Most of these patients are either diabetic or hypertensive or have both. For them, the treatment is a matter of life and death. Right now I was thinking that I'm soon dead. I know people who, who have kidney problem after me and I'm not here, them die. The harsh reality, though, is there are more patients than dialysis machines in the public health sector. At the Cornwall Regional Hospital, 19 of the 21 machines are functioning. At the Spanish Town, there are 18. And at the Kingston Public Hospital, 16. The renal unit at the Kingston Public Hospital is currently treating approximately 90 patients. However, this is less than 10% of the persons who are on the waiting list for dialysis. In fact, at KPH alone, there are approximately 500 people on that waiting list. I was on the waiting list about 10, 15 years. I used to come once a week and then somebody die and they get the next part, we get the two day. I would say um, the same nine years. While some wait to get on the list, they are forced to seek private care, which is costly. $20,000 for the two days. I was doing it the same Tuesday and Friday, and every month you have to pay at least $100,000. It's not that I couldn't work, but when you went for the interviews, once you say you're on dialysis, then they say you're not a asset, you're a liability. Some of the time when we see like we're going to cheat a day, wait up after that in the hospital. In part two, What's behind the increase in kidney disease among Jamaicans? Medical doctors weigh in. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.